Hello friends, welcome to aitechone.com. My name is Sumit and first of all, I would like to welcome all of you in the video series for Salesforce Lightning Web Components. In my previous video of LWC series, I've explained that how do we create a record into a standard object by using records form? How do we preview the records by using record view form? And how do we display the resource on a Lightning Web Comp? So the topic for today's video is how do we create record into custom object using LWC? I received comments from most of the uh, most of the viewers, and they would like to know that how do we add a record into a custom object? Because they were trying to do that, and they were uh, they were failed to do this. So therefore, I decided why not record a video on that so before i begin and explain you how do we do that don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel and uh, you can also press the bell icon to receive the updates on the new videos so let's begin and let me explain you that how do we add a record into a custom object by using lwc and in order to explain this example what i have done uh, i will be using the an example where I've created one, I'm using recruitment application, which I used to create in my trainings. And there's a candidate object in that application. So I would like to create a new Lightning Web component in order to add new candidate record. So I, I have already done that. Let me show you. And as you can see, this is a Lightning Web component I have created. This is my lightning component and this lightning component helps to add a new record into candidate object. So once we fill up all the details, required details and click on save, it will submit the data, it will add a new record into candidate object and it will display a proper message. So how I have designed this. So the very first thing is I've used Visual Studio Code and in the Visual Studio Code, I created a new lightning web component. So those who are new to this, series and they might not, uh, they don't have like, any idea how do we create a lightning web component. So they can check my first video in LWC series, whether I, where I have explained how do we create, how do we design a lightning web component using Visual Studio Code and to deploy that lightning web component on Salesforce platform. So the very first thing, I, very first step I did here is I just created a new lightning web component and my component name is add custom LWC. And here's an option to create a Lightning Web Component. Let me show you one second. So Lightning Web Component. So this is my component. And as soon as I create a component, I got three files, .html, .js, and .metaxml. And the first step in metaxml, I just change the required information. I set this to true. And I would like to deploy this Lightning Web Component on three locations, on the application page, on a home page, or other tab. That is the metaxml. The second step is I just created one LWC FX class. And in order to create a class, you can see we got a class option under force app main default. This is a class and I right click and create an FX class. This is my class. And in this class, I simply explained that uh, I just simply added a function called add new candidate function with three parameters. So this function takes three parameters as an input name, candidate name, candidate email ID, and candidate phone as of string type. There would be no return, uh, there would be no return, like will not be returning any value. So return type is a void and at the rate or enable and static. And what I did, I simply add the, I just create a new instance for the candidate object and add, uh, just pass the values to assign the values and simply insert record. So this is our FX class. Now let's, let me show you the HTML. So this is my lightning web component HTML and this HTML, what I have done in this HTML, in this HTML, I simply add the, I just created a lightning card title new candidate and uh, lightning input. So I'm, I just added three input fields because I need to get input uh, candidate name, email address, and phone number. So the first input is candidate name and the function is F name chain handler. Second field is email, label as email address and on chain email chain handler. And the third is telephone, uh, it's a type is cell, label is phone number, and the phone is in a phone chain handler. And then there's a button, the variant type is brand, and the label is save record, and the title is create new candidate. 
and on click i'm going to call handle click function so this is what i uh, this is what i uh, added in dot html now let's move to the client side javascript or the lightning web component javascript this is my javascript and this javascript first of all i had decorators like track decorator api i haven't used it but i have added it uh, just in case you want to use it further if you don't want it you can get rid of you can remove this don't add it because i haven't used this api anywhere right now then i just added three fields the way we used to declare the fields in uh, in order to add new record into a custom object in same manner but the only thing is you will not be able to get like when you try to get this kind of information you won't get it the, under the schema for example let me show you i just write here import so in i just write here import test from at the rate salesforce i would be getting a schema for all the accounts only for the standard account not for the custom accounts custom app custom object so therefore we have to add it by ourselves so i just copied it for the standard one and I, then i replaced the standard one with my custom so therefore i added it candidate object candidate that's the api name of my candidate object dot full name dot email id and dot these are the field api and i map these fields with the f name email id and phone this is add new candidate this is the function we are going to call this add new function from the apex so add a reference to that and then i add a show to show toast event in order to display the confirmation message or the error message then i declare one uh, i declare one uh, type here which contains three uh, three uh, like three variables first name three you can say that's a kind of property this contains three values uh -huh. first name phone and email and we map these fields with the email id f name and phone number and then what I did, uh, based on the phone chain handler, like F name chain handler, email chain handler, and phone chain handler, whatever values we type in into these fields, so these values we have to assign to the variables, and that's what we are doing here. So with the help of these three, three, uh, three functions, we'll be assigning the values into the variables respectively into this student detail dot first name, student detail dot phone, student detail dot email. So I just assign the value. Then whenever user click on a button, it is going to call the handle click function. And in this handle click function, as you can see, I invoke that function add new candidate. Now add new candidate, basically this is the function in add new candidate. And don't forget the reference of this function we have added here, this add new candidate. So this is add new candidate. And here, as you can see, this function takes three parameters as an input. So here I'm passing three parameters, candidate no, candidate name, candidate email ID, can, uh, can phone. And be very careful, the the field, uh, the parameter name should be same, exactly same, can dot name, can email, and can If I use the same if, uh, attribute names or uh, the parameters name, and we just assign the values to them. So whatever value we whatever value is there in the student detail dot first name, I assign this to can name, same to the email and this. And then in order to display the error message and or the confirmation message, I just display, I just use this block. So basically what this block will do, this block will show the message, it display the message in a show to speed. So once it is done successfully, what we have to do. Once everything is okay, what we have to do, we have to finally right click and deploy the source to all. So we have to deploy the FX class. We have to deploy this LWC component with all the three files we registered, we created. We need to deploy them onto Salesforce platform. I have done that. And now I just add that LWC component here. And I have already explained previously also that how do we add this component here? How do we do that? Fine. So so now let's test it. So in order to test it, as you can see, there are 47 records. And I'm going to write here, let's say, AI tech, or let me add a name as, let's say, Peter Paul, email ID. Actually, I, I might have Peter Paul already registered. Let me just name as a different name. Let me give a different name. Uh, let me give name as David. 
email id david ninety eighty ninety eighty at the rate gmail dot com and phone number. And when I click on save, you can see I got a confirmation message: new candidate David created successfully. Let's then verify the record. When I refresh, you can see a new record added successfully here. Candidate name David. Candidate number sorry. Candidate number forty eight. Name, email ID, and phone number. So like this way, we can pass more parameters to so uh, to fill up all the required details. So that's the way we uh, that's the way we used to create or we used to add a record into a custom object by using Lightning Web Component. So that's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. You can post your comments in comment box. You can reach out to us for the customized training on Salesforce. You can visit our website for more updates or you can contact us on the given numbers. Keep watching, keep programming. Have a nice day. Bye.